Thank you, Chris. Okay. Great. Welcome, everybody, to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of March 6, 2023. My name is Erica Zikos, and as the chair of the Design Review Board, I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.01 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst's YouTube channel, and minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended by Chapter 22 of the Acts of 2022 and extended again by the state legislature on July 16th, 2022, this design review board meeting will be conducted via remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom meeting link is available um, on the meeting agenda posted on the town's website calendar listing for this meeting or go to the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public is permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event that we're unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship or despite best efforts, we will post an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting on the Town of Amherst website. Board members, I'll take a roll call, and when I call your name, if you could please unmute yourself, answer in the affirmative, and then return to mute. Uh, so Tom Long. Present. Rebecca Lockwood is not able to join us tonight. Catherine Porter. Present. Lindsay Schnarr. Present. And Erica Zikos is here. Um, and Chris Brestrup and Jennifer Mullins are here from Town of Amherst staff. Board members, if a technical issue arises, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function or simply raise your hand uh, to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remute yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during the general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate your wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting via telephone, please indicate your wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, the participation will be discontinued from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. Uh, DRB FY 2023, number 17, Amherst Burger Company, LLC. Then we'll have approval of December 12th meeting minutes, general comment period, and any other business not anticipated within the last 48 hours. Let's start with DRB FY 2023-17. And I see that um, Mr. Barry Roberts and Gabrielle Gould are here, but if you could join us, uh, state your name and address for the record. And I'm happy to share my Zoom screen unless you're prepared to do so for your presentation. Let me know what you prefer. Gabrielle? Oh, I made on. Gabrielle a co-host to share. Okay. Assuming you would like to do that, Gabrielle. G Barry? Mm -hmm. I just identify myself. I'm Barry Roberts, uh, owner of Amherst Burger LLC. And I'm going to let Gabrielle do the presentation because I'm colorblind. So she knows a lot more about this than I do. And I hope you all show up for burgers and ice cream pretty soon. You got it. Thanks, Jerry. Gabrielle? So I'm Gabrielle Gould. I'm representing representing Amherst Burger Co. as the executive director of the Amherst Business Improvement District. And this is a new downtown restaurant that we're very excited about. Um, I'll share my screen. Uh, so I thought I'd just start with uh, the color palette for the signage and um, our, um, we thought bison was a, it was a brilliant idea for a font because burgers and bison um, and Anton. So these are our sort of starting. Um, this is the location that is going to soon be Amherst Burger Company. Um, I'm not sure if the DRB has anything to say about this, but 
Um, whoever owned this previously put um, some kind of a reflective tape or, or surface on the inside of the windows. And we'll be peeling that out because we would actually like people to see in and see people enjoying their meals and um, their time here at Amherst Burger Company. So that is going to go away. And um, there's no way I know how to make that look like it's going away. So you just have to use your imagination. Um, as you could see in the previous picture, there were long, um, about eight foot, nine foot long signs here. We're gonna condense them a little bit more because our logo is a little bit different than Shanghai Gourmets. Um, I'm not a graphic designer, so I just kind of plonked these in, but I think you can get the general gist. It will fit in between um, these uh, sort of uh, boards up and down. Um, and then we'd like to do an Amherst Burger Co. here. And I'm not 100% sure, but probably we'll do a smaller um, decal over here as well. Um, I just didn't put it in. We'd also, um, there's going to be some beautiful uh, outdoor seating, outdoor dining here, which is already um, approved by the town of Amherst. It's, it'll be about 10 tables. Um, so again, this is an awning. This isn't the exact color. The color's more in line with this. But again, I'm not great at that graphic design part. Um, and I, I don't have the right um, software to do that. So um, this is kind of like with the awning, it is a 16 by, I believe, 10 foot awning. It is retractable. Uh, so during the winter months, it will be retracted to hopefully maintain its integrity and make it keep it keep clean and nice. But on sunny, warm days, we'll bring it out because um, this area gets a lot of fun. So I'll go back to this one because that's the one that it's going to be, I would say, nine months out of the year. Happy to answer any questions. Great. Gabrielle, thank you very much. Um, could you point out what's going to be the primary entrance to the restaurant? Primary entrance will be right here. Um, we are not going to use this. This goes into a small vestibule area. We're going to um, like fill this with some ice creamy stuff so it looks kind of fun and light in there through the windows, but nothing in the door, in the, in the glass. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, I will open it up to DRB members for comment. And I see that Lindsay has something to say. Lindsay, go ahead. Hi, this looks great. Very exciting. A um, couple questions. So you may have said this, and if I missed it, I apologize. But the, the window adjacent to the main entrance, what are you proposing for that location? Anything? Um, this one right here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, if anything, we would probably do a smaller version of this decal on either the door or the window. But otherwise, I think there's going to be a high top right here and a banquette of high tops right here. Um, and we really want the outside to see those and not mm -hmm. obstruct the view in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember this from the previous time we reviewed this site for the previous owners um, or tenants. And it's it's a challenging it's a challenging storefront to try to direct people to that entrance. Um, and I think that you know there's only so much you could do, but perhaps having some kind of signage at that main entrance would be helpful. Um, based on the way the elevation looks, like my eye would be drawn to the other door just because mm -hmm. of the adjacent decal in that window. Um, so I think that that's, you know, that's one possibility. Maybe you have, you know, some kind of like lit open sign that's on that window or something that kind of grabs your attention that don't, that's different or an accent from the other more static graphics and signage. Um, so I think that that would be the main thing that I would recommend. And then perhaps something on the door that says like enter here or entrance or something that just like really indicates to people that that's where you want them to come in. Um, and I think that would be if, if everybody could um, imagine um, in this color palette and font um, a sign right there that says, please use door with an arrow. Mm -hmm. um, and we might as well get that, you know, put in everybody's mind and see if we could approve that now. Um, and I, I do think we'll probably put a smaller decal here, um, you know, just to make sure that this is very visible as well. Mm -hmm. um, I have two other relatively minor um, comments. I mean, I think that the graphics are really great. I love the, the font and the shape um, with the kind of curve from the circle, like, um, being mirrored with the curve of the sign. Um, I feel like given the space that you have along that, that area, um, 
Yep, that full length. One one option that could be interesting to make it pop would be to just fill that with like a black paint or something that would just kind of give it a background that fills the space and almost makes it look like it's it's taking up that whole area um, and makes the the kind of gold pop a little more um, and take up kind of a, a longer stretch or a larger presence. Um, so I think that's that maybe just in those two spots and you could consider doing it in all the panels um, just to create mm -hmm. more of a band of cohesive cohesiveness, but I don't think it's totally necessary. Um, my bigger like design question is just around the existing paint. Um, so I think that the red goes really nicely with the brick and it creates kind of just a, a very simple connection to the to the ground and to the to the brick surround. Um, it's that kind of lighter peachy color that I feel like is clashing with the gold. And I'm wondering, it's such a small area that I wonder if there's a way to paint that um, even just a white, like something that just cleans it and kind of takes that, that, um, that, that, that clash away. Um, yeah, I we talked about that and I just thought that um, exterior colors were sort of, you had to leave them alone. <laughs> so we were, we were trying to not get too involved in the exterior mm -hmm. redoing because we didn't want it to be like, oh my gosh, you know, everybody loves these colors. Um, filling this in white would look great. I think it would look better with that and a lot better with this too. So um, mm -hmm. we, we kind of hate this color. It's, uh, yeah. Well, Barry doesn't, but that's because Barry can't see it. <laughs> um, it's, it's nobody's like married person. to that mm -hmm. yeah um, so and like people... you said it's such a little amount of space that it's not mm -hmm. like it's going to break the bank to get that painted yeah right as long as it's uh, there's there may be a question of where to stop because the next business right I kind of was wondering that too where mm -hmm. it slides over yeah maybe they'd want it white too right um, um, but that's all that I have. I think it looks great, and I'm, I, you know, I would approve it as is. I just think that those would be uh, my recommendations to strengthen, to strengthen it. Great. Thanks, Lindsay. Uh, Tom or Catherine, do you want to? Hear yep, your... my my hands up. You great, see. Catherine, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, I think it's a great idea to have something, a new, I new business in that area. Um, my question is the door to the right. Do you, does it have to be there? Uh, I have this thing about doors that don't open and arrows and pointing. Couldn't you fill that in? Could it be a panel without a knob? It, the, um, it's an awkwardness to me. And uh, if, if you're not using it as a door, are you assuming it's an, uh, an emergency exit? And if it's not, why does it have to be a door with a knob, handle? Why can't it be a little bit more built into the whole exterior of that particular part of the restaurant. What's the what's the deal with the door? <laughs> My question. Hello, Barry. Barry. Yes, I think we could take the handle off the exterior, but I think Mr. Moore would like to have that as emergency exit. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. If you took the handle off, just so, because doors that don't open to the public, uh, I don't know. I, I think it just takes away a bit. And I do have a question about the over here on the left. Um, are those panel doors the big, the white ones, or are they windows? Um, these these are uh, windows, and these window. are doors that okay. that can open. You can okay. Um, they can. Um, the kitchen has an open kitchen window. So in the state of Massachusetts, you can't have these doors open while serving food unless, okay. unless you had, so th they'll be, they'll, right. they're going to make a better window than a door. Yep. Okay. Fine. Yeah. And yeah. So there's no, people aren't going to be servers. Servers aren't going to be coming out of that door. So that, mm. that, that brings me to the other question. If you're, if you only have one entrance, and you're going to have outdoor dining. You really have to rely on that one door for everything, right? People coming in, people paying their bill and leaving, somebody serving a hamburger. 
have, have you thought through how that how that traffic's going to flow? We have, Catherine. There's only it's a ten feet space outside, so it's pretty right. small. Um, yeah. And this is the type of burger place where you're going to go up to the counter. There's going to be a big ice cream counter. You're going to order there. We're going to call your name, and you're going to come oh. and grab your food, sit down, and everything is recycled oh, okay. and right. uh, eco-friendly um, tossing. So okay, yeah, that that. So you're not having table service outside. Mm -hmm. you're, no. You're, okay, that's your, that's good. All right, thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Tom, your sure, turn. All, all of my comments and or questions were covered. So in regard to paint along the um, soffit, the peach color, how one goes in and out and how service happens, all of those things are answered. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with it um, in regard to my comments and I support the other comments that have come up from. Fantastic. All right. And I just have um, one thing to add, and it hadn't occurred to me, although I, I appreciate Lindsay's suggestion about um, painting behind the Amherst Burger Company sign in that rectangle to kind of magnify the presence of your signage. Um, I do notice, though, on the, um, on the not main entrance facade that right now your, your graphic is not placed in the center of the the panel. And I'm wondering if it, that's your intention. I think it should be. So if you hold on, let me find that what I do with it. Aha. Um Here. if you look, you'll see this panel's a little bit wonky because it's got a line there. So yeah, we were and it's we not were, under the light. Right. Yep. And so and if you this is the cutoff for for the yeah. this um, location so we centered it between that and this and then centered it in the light yeah um and that I makes doubt, sense, but it complicates yeah. the, what you would paint right well Unless I, I highly to... doubt I'm not a builder but I highly doubt this is holding up the building <laughs> um I bet I bet we could um exactly. take that out paint and that black um and maybe even transfer that to there for a little architectural you know boom right there to match that and yeah. we would just swap it so I, I have a feeling that that could probably be done Barry what do you think you've done more building than I have yes I think that's possible yep that's possible yeah and I mean I think it would be necessary if you like the idea of doing that background paint Lindsay um, yeah, I, I guess I just think now that I'm looking at it a little bit more that I do like the idea of wrapping the band of black just because it is such a kind of um, dual storefront, like there's this kind of question mark of where it begins and ends. Mm -hmm. So if, if you like that idea and of having the black background in the panel that is, it does have the signage. I think I would be curious to hear other people's thoughts on extending that to the kind of corner and then to that right vertical trim board on the non-entrance side. Like yeah, that little like section. Right, right there. If we put that one piece of wood mm -hmm. right there um, would really make that pop. Again, I just, I, I figured there was no way we were painting the exterior of anything. So I love this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's black above and white below, and then your signage really popping and um, you know, clearly identifying the front door, uh, that that would be a really strong, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Um, all right, let's see. Does anybody else have questions or should I attempt to now summarize? Oh, Tom, sorry, go ahead. Um, no, I had a thought, but I'm going to take it back because uh, I was going to say that um, to draw attention to that door, it might be an opportunity to bring that orange color around that as a door frame, but I'm not sure I like it next to and adjacent to the red. So I think we should ignore my comments. So I'll just let that hang out there. Just thinking out loud. We got you. Um, all right. I will. I'm going to attempt to summarize and um, and then I'll just check for check for accuracy. Um, comments are that we like what you're doing um, and we had some suggestions to make it clearer, stronger, better. Um, 
the first comment was around making sure that we can identify the main door. You mentioned that you were going to put a, a logo there, um, and we think that that's a good idea. Um, filling the uh, fascia um, behind the signage, um, painting that in black, and then and moving the the trim piece to to mark the um, the limit of your store is a is a, an idea that we all support. Um, replacing the peach with a, a white would clean things up, um, and so we like that on the facade. And then there was a there was a I don't think that we would make this a requirement, but for clarity, if it is possible to remove the outdoor exterior hardware on that secondary door, the exit door, um, that we like that idea as well. Did I capture everybody's intentions? <clears throat> yeah, I had a question uh, mm -hmm. about the outdoor furniture. I thought when we were approving this several years ago, uh, well, maybe it's the question, do we have to look at the furniture um, and offer any suggestions? Uh, I thought on one other. We have in the past, but it hasn't always been delivered. It's not a requirement. Is that not been you? part of our package. So I, I wonder if Chris has any thoughts on that. I don't think so. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I'm sure, I'm sure whatever they have will be fine. I just yeah. leave. Uh, we yeah, and we're, we're not talking here about the retractable awning, but um, I I think that that's part of the package and it looks nice and clean. So, um, okay, Lindsay. I I think my mind wandered for a minute. Did you mention the painting of the peach? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So if there isn't any additional discussion, could I have a motion to approve this design uh, with our suggestions as previously yes. listed? I move that we approve this design with the uh, recommendations that have been offered to uh, offer Thank period. <laughs> Um, would you like to second? <laughs> I'll second. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, all those in favor uh, of the motion? Aye. 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 Say aye. Aye. All right. That's the unanimous. Thank you, Barry and Gabrielle. Where, I can I ask a question? Yeah. Where are you getting your ice cream? Where are we getting it? Yes. Is that the question? Cook yes. farm. Woo. Where? Cook Farm and Hadley. Oh, cool. oh, cooks. Oh. That's very exciting. Yeah. And all I have a lot burgers, of ice cream eaters in my house, including myself. All our burgers are coming from uh, Echo Dale Farm in East Hampton, grass-fed beef. So. Excellent. Very nice. Yeah. It is a, it is a very local farm-to-table burger huh. joint. It's going to be really great. I love it. Are you doing evening hours, too? Yes. 11 to 11. Awesome. Cool. Fun. So it won't be serving beer. Will you be serving beer or wine? Yeah. You are. Okay. And we applied for a full liquor license, but we're going to start off just doing beer and wine and hopefully okay. it'll all work out. That's exciting. Good luck. It is Thank exciting. You. Thank you. Thanks for bringing this to us. And um, we will. What line up for burgers in May, June? Three, three weeks, we hope. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, and that is why I just want to thank you all. And Jennifer, thank you um, for, I know that this isn't your normally scheduled um, and we slipped through the cracks and, and I'm sorry about that, but thank you all for coming in and, you know, having this meeting today because really three, three or four weeks from now, this place is going to be open and it would be terrible to not have signs. Uh-huh. Okay. No, we're excited. Yeah. Glad it worked out. Yeah. Thank, Thank you all. You. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. Thank Have you. a great night. You too. All right. So next on our agenda is approval of those December 12th meeting minutes. 
wondering if anybody had a chance to review the revised minutes that Chris was so kind to send around. Are you guys able to approve them if I wasn't present and don't approve them given the number of people present at this meeting? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, because we'd be three of five. So that's still that's still a quorum, right? Yeah, that would be. I think we could still approve them, right? Okay. Is it okay if I recuse myself and sign off? Yeah. You can um, <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. All right. So, um, Tom and Catherine, did you have a chance to take a look? Yeah, I did, but I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have additional comments either. Okay, great. So, a motion to approve then? So moved. I move that we approve the minutes of the December whatever meeting. 12th. Yeah. 12th. Okay. Yeah. Tom, okay. all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Great. Thank Is you guys for revising that. That was helpful. Yeah. yeah was, appreciate was that. Great. Thank you. you had to listen through the whole meeting to do it. Um, are there any members of the public in attendance tonight? No. Fantastic. That means that we're done. <laughs> okay. That was quick. Yeah. Was was speedy. Thank you so much. All right. Good. I got stuff in the oven, so Mike, I had thirty minutes, and so it should be beeping. I, mean, <laughs> Good. I was like, let's see how if I could get this right on thirty minutes. So we did. It. We're under. We're under. It's five twenty-seven. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All. All right. All right. See you guys. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye.